Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Lasagna and eggplant parmesan are two classic Italian dishes that are simply delicious. Lasagna is probably more familiar to most of us than eggplant parmesan, which is equally and maybe even more delicious than lasagna. If you've never had good eggplant parmesan, make sure you try it sooner than later. So I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys to specifically try Michelangelo's eggplant parmesan. So that's what we're eating today, along with our lasagna with meat sauce. I've seen these in the store many times, and I always thought they were just another cheap, processed, frozen meal. So I didn't really pay much attention to them. But when you, the people, suggest I try a product, it's my duty to try it. So let's start with a single serving, 11 ounce lasagna with meat sauce, which I got on sale for $3.33, and it's normally priced at $4.69. These meals are all small batch made from scratch that are made fresh daily with imported Pecorino Romano cheese and vine ripened tomatoes and absolutely no preservatives or artificial ingredients. Michelangelo's uncompromisingly Italian style. The way we've always done it. Our lasagna with meat sauce is the real thing. Authentic Italian from my great grandmother's recipe. We use the best ingredients including fresh beef, vine ripened tomatoes, and herbs that are sauteed and layered with firm pasta and premium cheeses. The taste is delicious, just like when I was a kid and we see no reason to change it. Enjoy, Michelangelo. There's only 12 main ingredients and that's very impressive in my opinion compared to many other processed frozen meals. The serving size is the whole tray. Per serving, there's 390 calories, 13 grams of total fat, six grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 60 milligrams of cholesterol, 740 milligrams of sodium, 50 carbohydrates, 5 grams of fiber, 9 grams of sugars, and 21 grams of protein. I forgot to take a picture of the box, but the best buy date is August of 2018. So let's open up the box, see what's inside, and give it a try. And it looks like a typical frozen meal. You can cook these in the oven or the microwave, but definitely not in a toaster oven, which is what I was planning on using. So since I can't use the toaster oven, I'm going to use the oven. It says to cook in a preheated 400 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes and to leave the plastic cover on while cooking. I guess that means a stick or two. So into the oven it goes. After cooking in a 400 degree oven for 40 minutes, our lasagna is ready and it smells really, really good. I was kind of worried that the barcode sticker would burn, but it looks okay. When I removed the plastic, it was at this point I wish we had smell vision It smelled fantastic. And once again, I was salivating like a rabid dog. The first thing I noticed was a lack of moisture, but I mean this in a good way. I've had other frozen lasagnas that were like soup once they were cooked. This on the other hand, looked the way lasagna should look. Moist, but not swimming in water or sauce. See how nice and thick the sauce is? Most of the time in other frozen meals, you'd need a spoon to taste it. The meat sauce is about as fresh tasting as you can get without it actually being fresh versus frozen. I got the sweet tomato and basil flavor right away. It was like a love tap to your taste buds. And you can actually taste the beef, but a little sweet Italian sausage would have made the sauce even better. Now it looks like all the sauce flowed to one side. And I tried to spread it out evenly, but I didn't want to mess it up too much, so I simply spun the tray around. I tried to neatly cut out a square to show the insides on the first bite. And it did exactly what I didn't want it to do. It fell apart. But that gave me the opportunity to show you what the inside looked like. And it had a really nice even layer of ricotta cheese. And I know I pronounced ricotta wrong, but that's how this big dummy pronounces it. It sure sounds a whole lot better than some of the other words I've butchered. So I put the piece back together to give it a full test bite. But it certainly wasn't a very pretty first bite. The pasta itself was some of the best textured pasta I've ever had. A perfect al dente, which means firm to the tooth. Pasta in other frozen meals is usually mushy or chewy. The ricotta cheese blend had a great flavor and was nice and moist, along with a very fresh and delicious tasting meat sauce. I immediately wanted more. No, I didn't want more, I needed more. This bite turned out much better in appearance. Is that beautiful or what, especially in a frozen meal? I've had lasagna in restaurants that didn't look or taste this good. I had no choice but to finish up the roll lasagna I had already cut. I really didn't want it to look on uniform, so I had no choice. 
Okay, honestly, I just couldn't stop eating it. I wanted you to see that there's absolutely no excess water in here, which obviously made the meal better, but it also helped it stay together rather than becoming a soupy mess. Now for the eggplant parmesan. This is another 11 ounce serving that I got on sale for $3.33. Again, it's small batch made from scratch that are made fresh daily with fresh cut eggplant, imported parmesan and Romano cheeses and vine ripened tomatoes and absolutely no preservatives or artificial ingredients. Michelangelo's uncompromisingly Italian style. The way we've always done it. Simply done with fresh eggplant, lightly breaded, the right amount of mom's tomato sauce, made from hand-selected vine-ripened tomatoes, and then topped with mozzarella. We sprinkle with a blend of cheese, Parmesan Reggiano, and Pecorino Romano to complete the dish. It is the same today as it was when I was a kid. When mom serves eggplant Parmesan, the compliments keep coming. Enjoy, bon appetito, Michelangelo. Again, the main ingredients are very minimal, which is pretty impressive in my opinion, compared to the novel-like ingredient list and other highly processed frozen meals. Again, the serving size is the whole container. Per container, there's 480 calories, 30 grams of total fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 95 milligrams of cholesterol, 840 milligrams of sodium, 31 carbohydrates, 6 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugars, and 21 grams of protein. Again, I didn't get a picture of the Best Buy date, but it was also August of 2018. So let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like and then get it heated up. Again, nothing out of the ordinary, a typical looking frozen meal. The cooking directions are the same, so I'm going to cook this in the oven with the other one at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes in a 400 degree oven, our eggplant parmesan is done. It's hard to believe, but it looks and smells better than the lasagna. I haven't had eggplant parmesan in a very long time, and for some reason, I've never made it. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. As soon as I removed the plastic, something caught my eye. See that little black somewhat burnt corner? Well, that's a direct non-stop ticket to Flavortown right there. You don't pass go, you don't collect $200, you go directly to Flavortown. That's the caramelized sugars in the tomatoes and the slightly burnt cheese, which is one of my favorite parts of casseroles and pizza. And it certainly did not disappoint. After tasting that little bite, I wanted to put the whole thing under the broiler for more of that goodness. Again, like I mentioned before, there's no excess sauce or water, which could easily be the case with eggplant, which contains a whole lot of water. When initially cutting through the eggplant, it still had texture, but it was tender. I've had eggplant and eggplant parmesan where it's simply mush. Honestly, I expected this first bite to fall apart, but look at how it stayed together. Just like it should. Nice thick tomato sauce in this case versus the meat sauce in the lasagna. When I took that first bite, it brought back so many memories of an old Italian friend named Nancy. She used to make eggplant parmesan often and it was incredible. And honestly, this eggplant parmesan is every bit as delicious as I remember Nancy's being. The eggplant itself was spot on. It had a nice light breading with a meaty texture. The sauce, again, it was delicious with a subtle sweet flavor from the tomatoes and basil. I immediately went in for another bite. And once again, it came out perfect. It didn't fall apart. And again, the texture and flavor were amazing. Some eggplants will have a tough, chewy skin that is pretty much inedible, but not these. You could definitely tell the skin was there, but it was a tender and delicious presence. I found it impossible to stop eating this eggplant Parmesan. I normally do these videos for you, the people, but for the moment, I was doing it for me. And if you guys were here, you know I'd share with you, right? Who am I kidding? I'm not sharing this. Get your own. Again, look at the tray. No puddles of excess liquid you normally find in frozen meals. And you're going to have to pardon me for the rest of the video because I'm going to continue to eat. So while I stuff my pie hole, let's go back and talk about the lasagna. Stouffer's lasagna has always been my favorite frozen lasagna because it's pretty darn good with good ingredients. But this Michelangelo's, it's simply better. It's better quality, better taste, and better texture. But that doesn't mean it's perfect. This is a little nitpicking on my part, but I would have liked to have more cheese and a touch more salt. But the salt's not really a big deal. It can be added at the table to suit your taste. 
I certainly wouldn't have a problem whatsoever buying these even when they're not on sale for the full four dollars and change. Yes, it's that good and very deserving of a nine out of ten. The eggplant parmesan was simply phenomenal. I have absolutely nothing at all bad to say about it. This is as good or better than a meal you pay $10 or more for in a good Italian restaurant. And no, I don't mean Olive Garden. I said a good Italian restaurant. But it's also as good or better than homemade. So with that said, I think you guys know what's coming next. Are you ready? That's right. For the first time ever, I'm giving a perfect 10 out of 10. This was by far the best frozen meal I've ever had. If you'd like to help support the Wolf Pit, consider being a patron. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month, that's only $12 for the whole year. Or you can pledge more, that's up to you. Either way, every little bit's appreciated and helps me produce more high quality videos more often for you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you soon.